On an ultramarathon, should you power walk the hills? Well, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to consider it. Let's dig into it. First of all, it's really important to think about the time gained versus the energy expenditure of moving uphill. This study here on the biomechanics of uphill and downhill running shows that energy cost increases linearly with each percentage of hill. So 10% hill means 10% more effort. 20% hill means 20% more effort. It also says that a natural reduction in speed because of the gradient doesn't necessarily mean you have a natural reduction in energy costs. So here we may want to consider a significant reduction in speed, i.e. walking. So slowing down to a walking pace may help decrease this energy expenditure. Also, this other study here shows that actually zigzagging up a hill, anything over the gradient of 12% is more energy efficient Efficient. So in short, these studies show that the time you gain from running up a hill is most likely outweighed by the energy cost of doing so. You may sprint up this hill and bank yourself 30 seconds, but the energy it's taken you to do that might cost you later on in the race. Aside from having this extra energy and maybe taking 30 seconds longer but having more in the tank, there's some other benefits to walking that you might want to consider. First of all, you'll maintain a lower heart rate, which is really useful for keeping your energy expenditure down, which means that you'll be better fueled throughout the race with your nutrition plan. Also, by walking, it means that you won't have a spike in energy, which sends you into the red zone, so you won't start building up too much lactate or things like this, because these can really ruin a race, especially on an ultra. If you sprint up a hill and suddenly get a really high heart rate, this can really make you suffer. Walking can give you a little bit of a mental rest. Often getting through an ultra is more about the mental battle than the physical battle. So just taking a little bit extra time to actually walk up this hill and take it a bit easier might just mentally give you the release that you need. Also, by lowering your heart rate, this may allow you to consume some food or some water. You could eat small amounts or sip a little bit. I don't usually recommend eating on the hills. However, if you do slowly walk up a hill, when you get to to the top, your heart rate might be lower and you may be able to eat a little bit of food at the top on the flat. The other thing to consider is hiking poles. So some people will argue that moving up a hill with hiking poles will expend less energy. So this study here shows that there's little to no difference between heart rate, oxygen consumption and calorie expenditure when using poles or without using poles. However, it is important to note that the subjects of this study did perceive slightly less effort when using the poles. Now, this can be really useful because as we said about the sort of mental side of running an ultra, if you perceive something as easier, this might actually be a massive benefit. If you think a hill is 5% easier because you're using poles, just because almost like a placebo effect, if you compound this over many hills throughout an ultra, this actually might make the entire experience a lot easier. It's really important to note though with this study that it was performed on a treadmill, so we may find different results outside on the trail. For me, I think there is a massive benefit from walking uphill. I like to use it to consume a little bit of water. It's a bit of a mental break. I can also use it to sort of check over my body to see if any anything is aching, any pains, anything that's really feeling sort of out of the ordinary, this gives you this little bit of time and it's also just a nice break and often at the top of the hill there's going to be a good view isn't there? So it can be nice to take this walking break. There's certainly something to be said for running the hills. If you're in a race and you're trying to be competitive, your competitors may run up the hill and then it's up to you whether you want to slow down and walk the hill and see if they gas themselves out and you can get them later or whether you want to try and stick with them. If you are trying to compete this is something that you will have to deal with because not every everyone is going to walk every hill. Hopefully through those studies and that bit of knowledge this has helped you to sort of decide whether you're going to walk up the hills or not. Maybe you felt a bit guilty about walking up the hills and this has sort of put your mind to rest. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you do like this type of content I make loads of videos all about ultra running so if you want to find out about the gear that I think is great for an ultra marathon you can click on this video up here and also YouTube thinks that you'll probably like this video down here. It's up to you. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of when I upload. I'll see you in the next one.